Hey guys, David here with Anheuser Disc Golf. Thanks for tuning in to another video. It's story time. I got a story from way back in 2015 when I first met Paul McBeth. Do me a solid. Hit the subscribe button. Give the video a thumbs up if you thought it was interesting. And uh, you know what? Let's get into the story. Okay, so before I can jump all the way into it, let me give you some background. I've always done internet marketing, uh, website design, stuff like that. I've always done that for a long time, and I've been playing disc golf now for 11 or 12 years. So back in 2014, 2015, um, I combined my passion for disc golf with my ability to make websites. And at the time, I was running a website called Average Disc Golf. Some of you guys may remember that uh, website. Um, I usually just posted updates about the sport, video links, um, you know, YouTube coverage, um, and then I wrote up some articles of my own that had to do with what discs I was throwing or the best bags of the year or what kind of shoes to wear. Just It was just a content platform, and actually the website is still live today. It's not been updated or touched because I actually sold it to someone online a l several years ago, and they never did anything with it, um, and it's still there. So some of the stuff that I have created is still there. Um, at the time when I was running this average disc golf website, I was trying to grow the social media accounts. And so, um, I reached out to a company or brand named Supreme Flight. Do you guys remember Supreme Flight? Okay. So Supreme Flight was ran by a guy named John Tompkins. He was McBeth's buddy and, uh, in Southern California. And they were basically similar to like a black ink disc where they would have merchandise, you know, apparel, but they'd also get custom stamped discs from the manufacturers that said Supreme Flight or, you know, had little designs from Supreme Flight on it. And um, they were real popular. The reason they were real popular is because, well, Macbeth had his hand in it and anything Macbeth does um, usually does pretty well. So I reached out to John over at Supreme Flight and I said, hey, let's work together. Uh, you know, you're trying to grow your thing. I'm trying to grow mine you know, let's work out a deal. And I don't a hundred percent remember what the deal was, but my end of it was I was supposed to get three discs from Supreme Flight that were signed by Paul McBeth, which I didn't think was that big a deal because Paul, I believe at the time was living in Southern California. Now this is pre millionaire disc craft Paul McBeth. This is Paul McBeth driving around in a trailer with um, Nate Sexton and he was dating Jennifer Allen at the time actually. So this is several years ago and um, a few months went by and I really was struggling to get these discs from, from John over at Supreme Flight. Well, come March 2015 and March 2015 is right before, um, I think it's March, uh, McBeth goes on this tear of winning all these events, right? Um, there's going to be an event in Northwest Arkansas, which is about two hours from where I live. Macbeth and Sexton are going to come. They're doing a fundraiser for a, a juniors player named Madison Rogers, and they're going to play one of the local courses and, um, you know, have a little demo and stuff. So I told John at Supreme Flight, hey, this is coming up. Maybe I can snag these discs from Macbeth while he's there, and we could be done with this whole thing, and it'll make it super convenient. And he uh, basically said, yeah, that, that should work. I'll let him know that you're going to come get them from him. Um, everything will all be set up. You just walk up and ask Beth for these discs, and it'll all be a done deal. Um, now, if Paul, if you're somehow watching this, I know you get on YouTube and watch videos, uh, especially the ones that pertain to you. If you can comment and, and confirm this happened, that would be funny. Or if you remember it happening, that would be funny. Um, so do that. But... Uh, Anyhow, so the event comes. There's actually still video uh, of it. With a 97 Paul Macbeth. <laughs> From when I uploaded it back, you know, a few years ago. And um, Sexton and, and Paul show up. They do this event. They play, they play the course. I met both of them. I talked with both of them pretty um, – I've talked with Paul a lot more than Nate. Uh, but they were both super nice guys. Uh, you know, they were signing discs and stuff. So I'm thinking, you know, I got to go up to Paul and ask him for these discs and just assumed that Paul knew what the hell was going on uh, when in reality he didn't. So um, I catch Paul when he's by himself because, you know, you're not trying to walk up and ask him this stuff in front of a bunch of people. And I catch him when he's by himself. He's walking back from his trailer and I go, hey, Paul, my name's David. I'm with uh, Average Disc Golf. I've been working with John over at Supreme Flight. He told me that you're supposed to have 
three discs for me that are signed by you uh, that we've agreed to exchange for some giveaway we're working on. And Paul's like, I don't know anything about it. And I was like, in my mind, I'm like, oh, fuck, I look like an idiot, you know? So I'm immediately embarrassed, but I'm also annoyed because, you know, John didn't say nothing to this guy. And now I look like an idiot walking up to him, asking for this. He has, he has, he doesn't know me from Adam. You know what I mean? I'm some stranger and, and Paul's a stranger to me, you know? Um, so it was an awkward moment to be like, yo, you're supposed to have some of these discs according to John. And Paul's like, dude, John didn't tell me nothing about it. You know, I'm sorry. Paul was real cool about it. Um, uh, what happened, what I ended up doing because I had this giveaway planned and I was promoting it on social media was I took a Dismania CD2 at the time. It was a Aussie Open stamped. Uh, I think I got it from Dismania as being a partner or something like that, some kind of team member, media team, or I don't know, something like that at the time, you know, seven years ago now. And um, there wasn't that many of them floating around in Arkansas for sure. So I, I said, well, here, Paul, can you sign this? And he was like, dude, where'd you get this? You know, like, how'd you get one of these? And so I was just like, yeah, you know, I got it from Dismania or whatever. And so he signed that. And then I, he pulled that disc out of his bag and he signed it and gave me that one and said, here, you can use this too for a giveaway. So Paul was really gracious about it. He was real, it was real nice uh, and worked with me on it. And uh, it was just a super awkward encounter to just walk up to, to Paul and be like, yo, you got some discs for me? Because John says you do. <laughs> and then he have no idea what the hell I'm talking about. So shout out John Tompkins. Make me look like an idiot. Um, if you guys don't know, Supreme Flight was bought out by Foundation Disc um, in 2020. And uh, I don't think they really do anything anymore. I think Foundation just kind of bought it out to put it on their site and and capture whatever brand popularity was left of it. Um, I know at one time they were sponsoring like uh, Hannah and Nate Sexton and of course Paul, and they had a little bit of a social, they had a pretty good social media presence. They were doing some pretty cool designs. Um, but yeah, that's my Paul McBeth story from Northwest Arkansas back in 2015 at the Madison Rogers fundraiser. Super awkward incident. Um, I've got several other disc golf stories to share with you guys about pros and stuff like that. So hit the subscribe button. Uh, I've, I've got some stories with uh, uh, Eagle McMahon and Simon Lazat and um, a few others. So hit subscribe. Give the video a thumbs up. Thanks for watching. You guys are all rock stars. I'll see you guys on the next one. Jesus. And just ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> that is retarded. Oh, <laughs> 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 <laughs>